tractor with Purple Color Life. You can see the plow is not on the tractor right now, but we're gonna change that. I've been using the pallet forks. I had some deliveries come that I had to unload some skids from a truck. Uh, but now we're expected to get six to 10 inches of snow over the next several days, plus some ice. So I wanna do some prep work for that. Now, obviously I'll have to plow once the snow is here, but I've got a lot of stuff in the driveway that I should get cleared out now. Make sure the driveway is as wide as I can get it. Make sure that all that slush and the frozen section on the top is scraped off if I can get it scraped off so that when this fresh snow comes, plowing's a little bit easier. After the last time I plowed, I was actually missing this skid shoe. So upon the suggestion of my dad, I took my metal detector out into the sides of the driveway, all the way up and down the driveway, looking for this skid shoe in the piles of snow that I had plowed up, and then also on the sides of the driveway where I had angled the plow. So I was able to find this, but of course it was missing the pin, clip, and several of the washers. So I went to Tractor Supply and got some washers. You can see I was missing about this many to level it up. I got a little bit thicker washers and a little bit thicker pin because I found on the other side that the pin was also really close to coming out and it was really bent. So I think what happens is, you know, I had these skid shoes down so far so that I wasn't scraping up any gravel, but those were catching on stuff and the pin wasn't able to take the force and that probably sheared or bent or broke out of here and that's why I lost the top section of washers and the pin. Now you can see I put the heavier pin and some new washers on this side also, but here's the pin that came out. You can see it was all bent. In fact, I had to straighten it just to get it out. I couldn't even get it pulled out. But I think what happened was this shoe pulled the pin almost down through those washers. It was just pulling at it so much. So hopefully the heavy duty pin and some thicker, wider washers could help keep that from happening. I've also put my skid shoes up higher. There is a solid base of ice now. I think leaving the skids up higher will allow me to scrape the driveway without scraping up the gravel.
this is where you can really see how much stronger the tractor is than the four-wheeler. Once that row of ice and snow is built up, the four-wheeler can't push it back. With this nice wide plow and the power of the tractor, I'm able to really widen the driveway now, even though that's already frozen in the ground. So it's doing a great job, you see? I am catching some of the yard here off the edge of the driveway, but that's okay. It'll be nice to have this nice and wide so I can put the snow over here once it really starts snowing hard the next few days. See, I've got the driveway nice and wide here now, perfect for when that snow comes. And there is an importance to that. You don't want your driveway to keep getting more and more narrow when more and more snow comes. So being able to widen it out is important. So when the heavy snow comes, I can start filling this area in and try to roll it over that top part. If you like videos like this, make sure you click that thumbs up button, comment down below, and we'll see you again the next time.